What's up, YouTube people? I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but Lilith loves me. We'll get into that in a bit, but after my cracking bit of luck with Ash of the Dawn, we've got some more cracking luck today, so, you know, it's good to be me. I do need a shave, which is, you know, the only downside to this, but that notwithstanding, I opened some more equipment chests today, and look what big boy Greg pulled. I'll never call myself that again. Where is it? Here it is. Navar's Control. So, after this being a purely Archer account, Lilith has given me a little nudge and saying, maybe that cavalry ID you had, not too bad at all. It's time to craft it. I can just about craft it. And we'll do that in a few minutes. I'll, I'll go through why it's such a sweet bit of luck in a sec through dint of my other account. Uh, until then, just want to let people know we're T5 ready, as I keep saying. I will be doing the T5 acquisition on a live stream, because, you know, why why not draw it out? Soon as we get one of these, a regular event that's about pushing power, speed ups, or uh, science power with a set of gold heads, I'll be going right for that. Anyway, give me two secs and I'll show you why I'm so stoked about this Navar's control. We're on the main to show. Uh, casual star flex, first star, don't want to go on about it, got it today. Oh, who's in the Hall of Fame? It's going to be little old Hip Hop Greg. Once I learn what Hip Hop is, I'll be unstoppable. Anyway, the, the casual flex is over. So, the reason I'm so stoked about this Navarre's Control, best cavalry commander in the game, Saladin. Yeah, look at this set, brilliant. But anyway, in fact, let's just go to here. I have the blueprint here for the best weapon for calves which is the sacred dominion the best helm for calves is hidden for now here we go pride of the calm the best chest is i believe the set piece where is it where is it yeah i don't have much calf stuff here heavy armor of the hellish waistband these are all things you can't get in crystal chest you can probably see where this is going the best boots are boots of the hellish wasteland the best pants at this stage are ash of the dawn which we got to the day as you may remember and the best of these navar's control i don't know why i needed to go on this account to show it i suppose it's because i thought i could dress saladin up in them and we don't have access to the sacred dominion yet in the other accounts are i'll just log back over there but i'm pretty stoked rightio just to remind you of how by bars looks at the moment by bars with all this good equipment we have bad helm great leggings and the rest of them decent so we're going to dismantle Isaac's sufferance i believe because i don't think we have quite enough materials yet yeah but we're almost there it's only 40 pieces so we'll dismantle this regret of course expertising it but that's just how the cookie crumbles okay come on i deserve a crit it's been 19 crafts on all accounts without a crit. Clean the Hydra boat yesterday on my main farm, so... I am worthy of a crit. 20! 20 without a crit! Dear, oh dear, listen. It just means that I'll crit the next... It doesn't mean anything like that. It means I'm very unlucky. I really want a crit there. Uh, never mind. I think we've got one iconic crystal left. So there we go. Cavalry base attacker, which is kind of meh, but we get the 8% health bonus. And yeah, I have this in season 3 we'll get an extra percent there. So in season 3 we'll get quite a good boost from our all of these. This one will go up to an extra, an extra base defense. We'll get more attack on this. More health on this. And more attack on this and more on this well cavalry base health that really is a good piece of equipment so next for me is refining this but i don't have the materials at all i really want the purple piece i don't like the set weapon for cavalry because it gives 20 percent attack without an iconic crystal this gives 17 percent defense once you get expertise which i really need to do uh so that'll be next for us in fact can i do this now refine I mean, I'm probably going to want to do it at some point. Yeah, let's just do it. We're here now. 
Okay, well, that was pretty good. So 17 more, we get that one expertise as well. The big thing is getting the next helm. That's going to be the next big step for us. The purple helm for cavalry, in my opinion, isn't that good. Actually, let me know in the comments if you prefer the purple helm to the blue one. This is the purple helm, wherever it is. You get 8% attack. And nothing else. There's no iconic or anything. You'll get 10.5% attack with crit, I believe. And as a trade-off for that, you lose... Whatever it is, 6% defense. I think I'd rather have the 6% defense. Am I, am I mad to say it? I just think 6% defense is better than 8% attack, especially as that one is expertise. So big old buy bars here. Has at the moment 8%, 8% defense. So we'd be trading 8% defense for 8% attack. No, it's not going to happen, is it? Let, let me know if you strongly disagree with that but i'm pretty sure we should be keeping this no crit again which is kind of a kick in the teeth but great thing about buy bars in this account is we have this double relic thing enraged and war cry really really good inscriptions and they're both on a triple cavalry thing the rest of it's okay i mean this one obviously needs to be improved i don't think there's anything well there's a... okay now here's a question for the boffins I love saying that. Are we thinking about 3.1% health instead of the... It's obviously better than the attack, not just through pure numbers, but the all damage is really good. So what do you prefer, the all damage in the cav attack or the 3.1% health? Trying to see if there's anything else we can refine here. I mean, that's 3.3%. 3% defense. Mm, nothing's calling out to me here. Why don't we have a quick transmutation session? How many do I have? Uh, I have three. Right, that's enough. And in fact, let's just check Thutmose before we do that. See if there's anything pressing we need to transmute here. Good, isn't it? <laughs> what an armament. Uh, nope. I don't want to do crap one. I can't do that one. The combo and rays are so good here, but the, the numbers aren't great. Well, let's let's go let's go for transmuting this yeah well that's just very good so we transmute this keep this hope for the best hold on it's this one right yep three two one less said about that the better ah we do get an alliance mobilization quest i chose one use 30 legendary equipment for obvious reasons I tell you what, I've always been really down on this Alliance mobilization. I've said it's kind of crap for free-to-play players. I don't think I'm going to be able to spend those. But I think I was just wrong. Okay, let's look through. Infantry, I'm never going to be able to do that. Gathering, I can do. Increase the power, I can do it later on. Spend gems, not without more than gems. 180 legendary equipment's kind of mad. Unless you'll just sit there ready for a craft session, you're not going to get it as a free-to-play so most of it's something that's not really for you and anything purchased obviously is outside the realms of possibility but if you can just scrape through on doing the gathering resources killing the barbarians doing the barbarian forts these rewards are a lot better than i thought i mean i think i worked out that the gem value is about thirty thousand. if you get to here i mean all these are kind of crappy then you start getting to good ones here Three formation chests, I'll probably go for the ten crystal keys. Then you get the three gloves for this time. I'm sure it's different pieces each time. Then you get a good old army expansion. Three more gloves here. Three more gloves there. So you end up with effectively nine pieces of conquest equipment. Twelve if you can get here. That's really, really, really strong. The rest of it's alright, but the nine pieces of conquest equipment is really, uh, really worth something. Not none of these particularly good. Three heads in any of those. I'd much rather have the piece of equipment. So yeah, let's hope that everyone can carry us forward. Where are we at the moment? I think we've done two quests. Yep, we've done two quests. I'm sure I'll do my part. Let's see if there's anything in the shop. 800k's worth. Hmm. I mean, there kind of is, but... Good on teleports. We just buy five of these i kind of want to save these for passports these credits you never know when you're gonna to have to leave the kingdom not that i'm hoping to i like it here but you know, I'm, I'm not blind enough to think i'll be staying here for 10 years or that i'll be playing this game for 10 years i might be dead let's hope not touching wood 
Anyway, finally, we know we get into tier 5 soon. I thought I'd give everyone a quick account rundown. We haven't had that in a while. I've been on holiday. It's probably been a month since we've delved into everything. So let's crack on with that once we join a few Fort Rallies. Right, I guess the most important thing is the commanders. We know by bars is now stocked pretty nicely. So we've got five pieces of legendary equipment or refined. We're now out of iconic crystals and pretty much out of materials, which is fine. We've we've crafted, I think, well. The only thing that's dubious is the Milky Way, which of course we crit. So, I mean, the, the annoying thing about this in a sense is then I went for the Dragon Breath Bow, whereas if you've got the Milky Way piece, it's kind of better to go for the KVK weapon, the KVK helm. That's a long way away. So, you know, if it ever gets to that stage, we can just uncraft this. I, I think I'm going to be happy for a long time with the Milky Way until you get a big set bonus. It is better than the... It does give you more health than the Dragon Breath equivalent. But of course, the set bonus of Dragon Breath is better, but it's going to be a long time before we get the six, especially if we're thinking about doing two troop types at the same time. So anyway, we've seen Bybars, we've seen Thutmos. Here is Sun Tzu, obviously not in the same ballpark so far. I am going to unlock Scipio Luce when the wheel comes for KBK3, but uh, they're very much on the back burner. The priority is now still Archers number one, Cavalry number two, uh, uh, Infantry number three. I've been watching... Uh, some more 12 pvp i love watching his streams he, they're really entertaining and i just i respect what he does with just three great marches and i'm planning to do pretty much the same one great archer march one great cav march one great infantry march so the rest of the commanders don't really matter let's be honest i haven't invested any heads in any kvk2 commanders and i don't in any way regret it no saladins no alexanders no constantines tamiruses Edwards or Wu Zetan, even though Wu Zetan now has a relic. Uh, so there's the commander setup. We know we've got five pieces of legendary equipment. We've got a nice little stockade here of things ready to make. I mean, we're I would say the best infantry glove is the Sacred Grips. The only issue I have with using my glove pieces and the ones I'll get from Alliance Mobilization to make that is you do get Sacred Grips in the crystal chests. I haven't got them yet, but I mean, knowing my luck, I'll probably get them today seeing how it's gone. I have no real blueprints of note. So these are just staying around until we can find out what to do with them. As we've got no pieces of equipment, it's kind of a little bit irrelevant for now. We really are down to the bare bones here. I suppose we've got 50 ebonies, but yeah, bare bones for the rest of it. No transmutation stones, plenty of resources in the bag. I mean, let while we're doing an account run through, let me just uh, go and work out exactly how many that is. Two six. I don't even know if I flip my fingers there, but anyway, that, that's how many resources we have now. Let me zoom in my eyes to see it. So plenty of food, plenty of wood, about a million of each, a billion of each, 500 mil stone, 300 odd mil gold, and plenty, probably about two thirds of that again in the pick one chests. Uh, let me just... I should probably at this point show my farms. They have about 200 mil gold between them. Not much of the other resources. They've got plenty of pick ones. One's at 16.9 million power. It's going to get to about 25 and stay there. Uh, so is the Greg Hamlet, which just hit five marches. So I'm still, you know, not dedicating too much time to them, but just getting them on, chaining them up in the background. So Greg in farm and Greg Hamlet will keep me well stocked in the, uh, the life I'm accustomed to. Speed ups. Well, here's one I did earlier, as I quickly change the image source. We bloody age to sort this out. There we go. So we have 11 days building, 178 days training, 38 days research, 76 days healing, which is a little low enough, and 580 days universal. So that's going to be absolutely plenty to hit my tier 5. Ideally, I want to save as much of the universals as possible. I don't think I'll be rushing tier 5 infantry, and certainly not the siege, unless I absolutely need to for the purposes of getting the gold heads in the thing. This is how our academy looks. We need to start doing all the level 10 economy. Just need to finish these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 5, 7. Numbers are hard. Need to finish those. 7. Need to finish these. And then need to finish the Vulcan Arrow Pavis. Straight onto Elite Chukunu, 
and then stirrup plate armor straight on to Royal Knight. After that, we'll just slowly go through the infantry stuff until we're ready to actually have a tier 5 infantry march. Because if you're fighting with blue equipment and Sun Tzu, don't matter if you've got tier 5 or tier 1, you ain't going to be doing well in KVK 4 or 3 now and beyond. And so let's the speed up situation. Uh, these are somewhat irrelevant. We've got five advanced army expansions. That's all that really matters there. Been through equipment and armaments. The other thing to note, we now have 567 legendary commander sculptures. So we're definitely going to go for a cavalry march at the beginning of the next KVK because the wheel comes out first. And I want to fight in the runes with a good march of tier 5 cavalry, not just bypass. It's probably going to be Nevsky unless the new cavalry commander comes out a little sooner than it seems to be the case. If not, it'll probably be the new cavalry commander. My question to you, because we're definitely saving some heads for Zhuliang. Whatever happens, we're getting Zhuglian YSG as a tier 5 archer march. I do want to max Zhuglian eventually. For the beginning, I'll just get him to be 5 5 1 1 and work on him afterwards. So, do we go Nevsky Ibars? Nevsky Ethel? I mean, my thought process is basically who works best with what we've got with, um, with Nevsky slash the new Cav Commander. And there ain't much options. There ain't many options. That's the right word. We've got Bybars, probably not the case. Belisarius, we're definitely not using him. We're not going to be using Chow Chow, let's be honest. Uh, Dragonlance is a possibility. We've got no Minamoto, for obvious reasons. We've got no Saladin, and we've got no uh, Genghis Khan. So my options are pretty much, well, from the top of my head, it's either, I mean, Nevsky Joan is the de facto good march. Huo Williams, the de facto second good march. So it's any combination of those three commanders we don't get. Failing that, I could just use Ethel on the, the interests of saving heads. I mean, Nevsky Ethel's probably all right. Mehmed's the other consideration, but he's nowhere near good enough. I'm not putting heads into him. So we got nothing there. So it's, it's either Nevsky slash new commander Ethel or putting 190 heads into Nevsky and 190 heads into maybe Joan of Arc or Joan, Pro Joan Prime or something like that and then get 5511 Nevsky and 5115 Joan or no, I guess it'd be 5511 Joan at that point just to be safe. So let me know what you think I should do. I'm thinking Ethel's probably the way to go as much as I don't like to do it, but I'm willing to be swayed otherwise. Whew. I'm out of breath. That's been a pretty exhaustive look. I've got our fifth piece of legendary equipment today, which I'm pretty stoked about. Only one crit on this account so far, but you know, one out of five is about what you expect. I think it's a 17 or 13% chance, so you know, we've we done well. It's just I'm on a bit of a barren run. Ooh, KVK has a couple more days to run. Big, exactly a couple more days to run. We're locked in for all the rewards. I don't know if I'm staying in the top alliance. Obviously, I was away on holiday most of this, so I probably don't deserve to. We'll see if I manage to get it. But we'll get a nice smattering of rewards here, and we'll start building up the equipment all over again. Right, friends, till next time, I will see you on the stream, hopefully, when the Tier 5 Unlock Party begins. Till then, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea, relax, and say ciao for now.